everyone, and welcome back to The Wave. I'm one of your hosts, Isaac. And I'm Kate. If this is your first time joining us on The Wave, welcome. Each week, we get the honor of sitting down with an artist to learn more about their music. That's right, and this week is our season five finale. But before we get started, let's take a peek at this week's artist. Yeah, my name is Logan Ely. I play bass guitar. I'm Dan Larson, and I play the drums. I'm Matt Sadler. I am uh, the vocalist at uh, Rhythm Guitar. I'm Tucker Moss, and I am guitar. We all kind of grew up in and uh, around Manchester, Tennessee. All went to school together. Uh, we didn't really know each other there. Uh, we were each at our local video store, and we all reached for the same copy of Blade at the same time. There's only uh, so many things a person can do after a series of events like that unfold. And, uh, you can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. You can't ignore something like that. And I was like, I think we were meant to be together in some way, shape, or form. And this form is the way it was meant to be, for sure. Already. Every show at the borough is a magical experience. Yeah. Right. We've had a great uh, time in this town of uh, Middle Tennessee State University City, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And uh, a really great time at the borough here. And the screen walls are filled with uh, splendor and misery and lament. and uh, gratitude from us. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'll second that. Yeah. I'll third it. I'll fourth it. World domination. It was world domination. World domination. Yeah. Right. In an ideal world. In an ideal, in an ideal world. world. Have yeah. a hand in everything. Yeah. I want everyone to have to, you know, you got to pay your piece up to someone, and eventually at the top, I'd like for it to be us. It's got to be somebody. It's, it's got to be, be somebody. somebody. And you'd love it to be us, wouldn't you? Yes. I'm so excited to sit down with them later. Me too, and I'm even more excited to hear them perform, but before that, let's get you up to date on music news. The 2023 Grammy nominees are here. Beyonce takes the lead of most nominations with nine total, followed by Kendrick Lamar with eight. Bad Bunny made Grammy history by becoming the first full Spanish album to be nominated for Album of the Year. Other artists nominated this year includes Adele, Brandi Carlile, Harry Styles, and more. The 65th Grammy Awards will be held on February 5th, 2023, and you can see the full list of nominees at grammys.com. The Billboard Holiday 100 chart has made its comeback with Mariah Carey taking her spot with her classic, All I Want For Christmas Is You. Mariah Carey has ruled the top spot of the holiday chart since its creation back in 2011. Alongside Carey this year was a new take on Ellis's Blue Christmas by Kane Brown. The full chart features other classic holiday artists like Michael Buble, Pentatonix, and Frank Sinatra. It's the most wonderful time of the year, Spotify wrapped season. This yearly wrap up of users most listened to has become a tradition for many music lovers to share what their favorites are. A new addition to this year's wrap shows users a glimpse into how their listening habits change throughout the day, including a variety of descriptors like hopeless romantic, confident, and hype. If you want to see a glimpse into what the Wave crew has been listening to, head over to our Instagram at mt underscore the wave. That's it for this week's music news. We'll be right back with Steady Rotation after the break. And we're back here with Steady Rotation. Yes. So can you guys just tell us a little bit about the song that you're playing tonight? Uh, yeah, we're playing this song called New Hit Single. It's a little number of ours, a little ditty we like to do. A uh, little powerhouse, a uh, little song. Very nice, very nice. Very, uh, you know, we mean it, it comes from the heart. It's just about uh, power and, uh, you know, rising up, uh, you know, uh, monetarily. Feeling the fire. Making it and letting it be self-evident that you've made it. Very nice, very nice song is a statement but um so how do y'all start writing new music what's that process look like well uh normally we start with the lighting of the room getting it getting the uh vibe set you know incense uh candies and like candles a nice candle we just sort of get ourselves in a headspace i guess we create the room and then we get the view the vision in there and sort of all cohesively together we put our hands in and we uh you know, we each share a bit of our brain in there. 
sort of a, a big uh, gumbo of a... Uh, Telekinesis. Gumbo. Cosmic gumbo. Cosmic gumbo. <laughs> Slow cooked. And we just get in there together and we work it out by putting pen to paper and writing chords down and writing lyrics to go with it. Just like a big gumbo. Beautiful. Yep. Fantastic. <laughs> so could you tell us a little bit about um, the venue that you guys opened up in your hometown? And all that yeah. Things? It's called uh, Good Friends Music Parlor. We went through a lot of names. Music Hall, Music Venue, Music Place, Music Parlor. Music it, Building. Music Building. Mm. Music. Uh, there was a few other ones. But Music Parlor had a good ring to it. And it also confused a lot of people. So some people still drive by and they go, what is that place? It's Good Friends Music Parlor, y'all. You know, come in. We do shows every now and then. We practice in there every now and then. We watch a lot of cartoons in there mostly. And um, that's where we have the lights and the incense. It's at 103 Hillsborough Boulevard, Manchester, Tennessee, area code 37355. Fantastic. Now we know exactly where it's exactly at. Exactly where to find <laughs> you. <laughs> you can send us mail and stuff, too. We have two mailboxes. We love postcards. Fan mail. We've never gotten fan yeah, mail yet. Yeah, send us mail. <laughs> send us fan mail, please. <laughs> I love that. So out of, like, you know, all the places you guys could perform and festivals and stuff, do you guys have a specific one that you would like to perform at? That we would like to in the future? Yeah. I'd like to go back to Sugar Creek Music Fest, a music festival we went to earlier this year in Chicago, or not Chicago, somewhere else in Illinois. Benton. Just south. Benton, Just Cape south. Cape Benton, Benton, Illinois. Benton, Illinois. That's where they had the uh, gathering of the Juggalos a few, a few years, years ago. A few years ago. Oh, yeah. uh, at Cave and Rock, <laughs> Illinois. Like it's near there. Catch that, hopefully. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it's, it's maybe Yeah, we'd gathering. like to play a gathering. That'd be fun. Uh, can you let us know um, what your like social plug is and where everybody can find you after the show? Yeah, it's uh, at Steady Rotation Band for Instagram, on Facebook for Steady Rotation, and on uh, you know Spotify and stuff, Deezer, uh, we're Steady Rotation. If you look us up on iTunes.net, and you can find our music just online virtually and streaming, Steady Rotation. Fantastic. Yeah. So we if, will we, if we pop right on Pandora, send us like a, a message or a picture and, of us uh, popping up on Pandora. Print it out and send 103 Hillsborough Boulevard, Manchester, Tennessee. <laughs> Don't forget about Pandora, ever. <laughs> well, we will be right back with Steady Rotation's performance. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Wave. We appreciate your support this season, and we'll be back in the studio next semester to finish season six. That's right, but before that, let's close out season five with Steady Rotation.
Say it, say it.